My name is Michelle Broussard, and I'm a senior functional analyst with Cisco. I've worked in food service since 2011, but in 2018, Cisco acquired the independent distributor that I was working for. And I was actually a part of the discovery, acquisition, and transition teams, which was really fun. And I got to really get on board with Cisco from the get-go. About a year later, I was looking for a little bit more of a challenge. So I moved into our merchandising sector of the company. And it was during this time that Cisco had us convert from our previous software systems to all the Cisco platforms. And I just had so much fun. I loved learning to groom the data, uh, learning to navigate the systems, and even helping my colleagues with some of their questions. And it was during this time that I got very close to the conversion team that was on site with us. And I kind of saw them as mentors. I looked to them to pretty much gain as much knowledge as I could, whether it was about their careers at Cisco or just general Cisco knowledge. So in 2021, when the lead from that conversion project decided to retire, she encouraged me to apply for her open position. And I was really nervous. I didn't think I was qualified. I, I had some nerves of maybe I didn't have what it takes to succeed in technology. But I applied anyways, and I got the job. So that's how I got my dream job with Cisco. Within the technology sector of Cisco, I'm on a very small woman-led team that focuses on inbound transportation and logistics. And while I'm really excited uh, about the projects that we have in our pipeline, such as modernized appointment scheduling and some automation opportunities, I'm also really excited about our recently hired product owner and the culture that she's bringing with us to our team. There have been so many conversations, not only about what kind of value we want to bring to our projects, but what ways we can venture outside of our team to learn more from others and how our team could best support each other. So we're bringing our best work every day. I'm just really excited about what's ahead for our team. I would describe the culture at Cisco as being at the forefront, whether it's our commitment to modernizing business practices and technology to better serve our customers, or it's creating policy change in response to our annual employee survey. I find that Cisco is incredibly quick to pursue changes that make us stronger. We often talk about what it means to be a leader in the food service industry, and while that obviously speaks to the level of service that we provide our customers with, I think it also extends to our culture of betterment and how employees genuinely connect with the company. I have a lot of favorite things about Cisco, but the first thing that comes up when people ask me about the company is often our colleague resource groups. I always kind of describe them as after-school clubs, but they are volunteer-based, colleague-led groups that serve as community for the members. There's groups for emerging leaders, mental health, veterans, different racial identities, the LGBTQIA plus colleagues. These groups are amazing. They discuss issues that are important to the communities and how that might relate to your professional identity. They host events for themselves and other colleagues, and they just generally offer a space where you can connect with other colleagues. I think they're so much fun, and I love, just love that Cisco has this initiative. One of the ways that I feel most supported, not only by Cisco as a whole, but specifically the technology sector, is the commitment helping me develop my skill sets and navigate my career path. Our team places so much value on pursuing new certifications and training. They encourage you to collaborate with other departments and gain knowledge. And there's just such a strong focus on growing your abilities. Leadership has really instilled a strong culture of continual learning. So my time in technology has never felt stagnant. I always feel like I'm challenging myself and having fun while doing it. And it never feels like 
I'm stepping outside of my role to ask to learn something new. I always feel encouraged um, to, to find what I'm passionate about and pursue it. My advice for women looking to work at Cisco is simply to come as you are. I have no doubt that there is a role or opportunity that could benefit from your skill sets and your unique point of view. I have no doubt that there are colleagues that are eager to connect with you and get to know you, and that there's a leadership team that's ready to help you plan and grow a lifelong career here at Cisco. So if you'd like to learn more about working with us here at Cisco, please visit our profile on Fairy God Boss.